Your tongue is anointed to command and loose. Whatever you command to happen tonight will determine how your future will be. If your prayer is like a bomb, the part of darkness holding any part of your body will explode. If you want your destiny to remain in this satanic part, don't bother praying tonight. When God reveals to you the secret of the enemies, victory is yours. Information controls the world. The information they gather from you is what they use to disconnect you from your helpers. Evil part can be described as a local part made and used by local demons and agents and continue affecting your life and destiny negatively. It can also be described as a witchcraft part. The operators of evil part are witchcraft powers from the pit of hell. They use evil parts to maneuver good things. The locations where the evil parts are found are in a convent, which is a meeting place of witches and wizards. This is where evil powers fellowship with one another to plan and launch their wicked attack on their victims. Many people may be looking good, wearing good dresses and wearing nice perfume, but maybe in an evil pot. Evil pot can also be found in the house of strong men and women of darkness. If you have a family that has a ritualistic or occultic man, you must find evil pot in their house. Many people have been working in an office with an occultic boss. You will notice that you cannot achieve anything, but your boss keeps going higher. Also behind every altar of darkness, there is a hidden pot. The purpose of the pot is to fortify the altar for satanic manipulation. There is no satanic shrine that you will not find an evil pot. Those pots are for the purpose specifically for manipulation. Also, ancient gates and entrance into a city. Pots are found at the entrance of a city, could be spiritual, physical, or invisible. The essence of those pots is to have total control of those that enter the city. There are altars governing a city. That's why many people don't make it in life. Altars and evil pots are behind your struggling in life. As a real child of God, you need to ask God before you move. If you don't know the land where you're going, you can be wasted. Evil pot is an instrument of destruction. They are an instrument of hindrance. Evil pot is an instrument of unstable life. Why your life is not stable is because they have used an evil pot to prepare your charm used against you. Evil pot is an instrument of spreading spiritual cobweb. Spiritual cobweb causes disfavor. Evil pot is used to prepare spiritual wickedness. Evil pot is used by which to prepare demonic activities. To pollute a child from birth through cooking of their placenta spiritually. Many lives have been polluted from childbirth. Some of the symptoms of someone that's under the attack of evil part, they will always fall into disfavor. They'll have attacks in all areas. You are always facing attacks all the time. When you find yourself addicted to drugs, to certain drinks, you are under the attack of evil part. Knowing what to do and not be able to do it is a sign that you are under attack of an evil part. Many journey of life has been diverted. Also, spending money foolishly. You don't even think about tomorrow. You are unstable in progress. You have also indescribable discomfort. The way to get out of it is to confess and repent totally from anything you are doing secretly. You need to wash away the anointing of evil part out of your life. Remove the fetish priest and make him useless before the evil part. You remove him through prayer. Destroy the evil part, withdraw your name from the evil part, and possess your possession. Let us pray. Ezekiel 11, verse 11 to 12. The Bible says, Then you will know that I am the Lord. This city will not be a part for you, nor will you be the meat in it. I will execute judgment on you at the borders of Israel, and you will know that I am the Lord, for you have not followed my decrees or kept my laws, but have conformed to the standards of the nations around you. Tonight you will get your freedom. Victory comes upon you tonight. Every part carrying your image that making you not see good things happening in your life, by fire I command them to give way. Anywhere you have entered into satanic part, you are coming out by fire in Jesus' name. Every unfriendly friend revealing your secret to the kingdom of darkness, disconnect you now in Jesus' name. I command blindness upon the agents of darkness, disconnecting you from your helpers in the name of Jesus. 
Anyways, enemies are sweeping your destiny and glory away. I release fire to consume them in Jesus' name. Every agent assigned against your life, I approve them out of this world. They will not see you in Jesus' name. Every agent from the pit of hell assigned to your life since you were born, I command them to die. You will not be a victim of the enemy. As far as the grave couldn't stop Jesus, no power of darkness can stop you in the name of the Lord Jesus. The days of the strong men stopping you from shining is numbered. The judgment of God is on them. Every man using your glory and destiny, the sword of judgment come upon them now. Every landlord using your blood to make his wealth, I decree they will die. Every satanic invisible masquerade using pot to carry your destiny and glory, they will die before sunrise. As from today, you will not struggle again. Tonight will mark the beginning of your success. As the sun rises tomorrow, it will make your enemies sleep for you to escape. Any man or woman in the comfort of darkness waiting for you to die, they are the ones to die tonight. Every satanic hand that has covered your eyes to not see your helpers, let that veil be removed now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I rebuke and destroy every wicked cauldron in Jesus' name. I rebuke and destroy every sitting pot of cauldron stirring by the enemy against my life, against my city or my nation. Let every wicked cauldron in my city be broken in Jesus' name. I break every witchcraft cauldron stirred up by witches and warlike in Jesus' name. Lord, visit every witch and warlike in my region and convict. Let them repent, turn to you, and be saved. I am delivered from the boiling pot in the name of Jesus. Lord, bring me out of the midst of every cauldron. The enemy will not eat my flesh, break my bones, and put me in this cauldron. Lord, deliver and protect me from every part of evil in Jesus' name. Lord, deliver me from the boiling pot of pride. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bind and break all witchcraft, all curses, all spell and powers, and through the blood of the Lamb, destroy the works of every witch, every warlock, every wizard, every sorcerer, and all other powers of darkness. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, we break all the powers, including the influences of witchcraft, evil powers, every spell, every hexes, every vexes, every voodoo, every hoodoo, every roots, every portions, or any such things of every person under the sound of my voice tonight. Through the blood of Jesus Christ, we also bind up and destroy all spirit guides, all helps and shields of these workers of evil, and leave them without any strength, strip of their evil powers and influence. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and by the blood of the Lamb, we now seal off their powers within themselves, so they cannot use them anymore and that their works might be destroyed in the hope that their soul might be saved for the glory of God. In Jesus' name, I cut and burn all ungodly silver cord and ley lines. As your war club and weapons of war, I break down, undam, and blow up all walls of perfection around all witches, all warlocks, all wizards, all satanists, every sorcerers, and the like, and I break the power of all curses, all hexes and vexes, any spells, any charms, any fetishes, psychic prayers, psychic thoughts, all witchcraft, sorcery, any magic, any voodoo, all mind control, every jinxes, every portion and bewitchment, death, destruction, sickness, pain, torment, psychic powers, psychic warfare, prayer chants, incense and candle burning, incantation, chanting ungodly blessings, hoodoo, crystals, woodworkers, and everything else been sent my way or my family members way or any deliverance ministry ways I return it in the demands to the sender sevenfold and I bind it to them by the blood of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth I come against the prince ruling spirit and all spirit guides I come through the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus I paralyze you and silence you forbidding you from influencing or strengthening them the witch or the witches in the name of Jesus right now. We are destroying your very works, the spirit of hate, the spirit of bitterness and murder, spirits of envy and jealousy, spirit of wizardry, sorcery, and all your core spirits, your works, your powers, your influences are destroyed in Jesus' name. I paralyze you all right now. You will not be able to use this soul any longer against me, against the church or any particular person in Jesus' name. 
I come against the spirit of blindness, binding the spirit of bondage and heaviness, fear and hate. I pray, Lord, that you will open their eyes so they can see the glory of Jesus. Open their hearts so they can hear your voice. Break the yokes in their life and give them liberty in their souls, that they may be free to repent. Show them every evil work and evil deed they are guilty of. And Lord Jesus, convict their hearts into repentance. Bring the souls out of darkness. Save the souls so that you may have the glory. Satan, I silence you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I bind all your interference. You will not interfere with these souls and they will have their own free will choice so as to make up their own minds. If they want to repent, they will do it without your interference. Also, Lord Jesus, I pray that you will release warring angels to wage war against these demonic activities and will send ministering spirit to minister to their souls. Father, I thank you because of the mention of your name. Every name must bow, including that of which is wizard in Jesus Christ's name. Father, I come to your throne of grace and I receive mercy and grace to prevail in these prayers tonight. I command every evil part cooking my affairs to be destroyed in Jesus' name. I come in every witchcraft path working against my progress to be destroyed in Jesus' name. I separate my life and destiny from every evil cauldron in Jesus' name. I come in every monitor spirit, monitor my life to evil cauldron to go blind now in Jesus' name. Every part of darkness working against my life, I scatter you in Jesus' name. Every evil part of stagnation working against my life, I scatter you by fire in Jesus' name. Every evil part working against my health, I scatter you in Jesus' name. Every evil power calling my name in the evil part be destroyed in Jesus' name. Every evil voice speaking against me in any evil cauldron be silenced forever in Jesus' name. Every evil power cooking my progress from any cauldron be destroyed now in Jesus' name. I scatter every witchcraft gathering against my life in Jesus' name. I scatter every witchcraft plans against my life in Jesus' name. I return back to the senders every witchcraft arrow targeted at me in Jesus Christ's name. I release the unquenchable and all-consuming fire of God to destroy every witchcraft covenant working against my progress in Jesus' name. I break every witchcraft part over my life in Jesus' name. I break every witchcraft part over my family in the name of Jesus. Let every demonic counsel over my life be destroyed now in Jesus' name. Let the counsel of God over my life prevail in Jesus' name. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my entire household with the blood of Jesus. I draw the bloodline of protection over me and my household in Jesus' name. No weapon of witchcraft shall prevail over us again in Jesus' name. No evil cauldron shall cook up evil with my life again in Jesus' name. No counsel of witchcraft shall prevail in my life in the name of Jesus. I declare from today, every evil part shall begin to hunt down their owners in Jesus' name. I declare that I have total victory over witches and wizards in my life in Jesus' name. From this day forward, no evil men or women shall prevail over me in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for answering my prayers. Amen.